I read this uh, report where I had a question asking who was the best super oh, middleman he almost had ever it. between Canelo and Joe Calzaghe. What? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm pretty got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. So today, I was, <laughs> it, makes me, it makes me laugh because I just saw this thing that I, I just thought it was very, very, very funny, man. Very comical and ridiculous even. You know, I read this uh, report where I had a question asking who was the best super middleweight ever between Canelo and Joe Calzaghe. What? Huh? What? <laughs> I said, I said, Canelo with who? I said, who? All right, come on, man. Y'all you know, know me, man. You know my boxing channel, man. Dr. Boxing Talk. We respect all the fighters, man. That's what we always going to do. We forever will do. But when it comes to respect, it goes both ways, right? And not just um, who you're talking about, but also who you're comparing them to, man. And so let's let's just talk about Joe Calzaghe right now, man. Shout out to Joe Calzaghe, man. What, 46 and 0? A, a great, impeccable record, right? But if we being honest, man, he didn't really fight the best. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Not really. He didn't fight the best at all. You know what I'm saying? And um, and and him not leaving Wales or reluctant to leave Wales and fight abroad is in indicative of that, right? So he fought out of uh, uh, fought in Germany, I think one time, and then he also fought in the U.S. You know, most famously, his last two fights of his career in 2008, right, against the legends Roy Jones Jr. And Bernard Hopkins, you know what I'm saying? The executioner, right? But guess what he fought them, man? He fought them in the US. He traveled to Vegas. And yes, those are his best those are those are his best wins when it comes to um, um, being recognizable names, you know what I'm saying? A against recognizable names or his two, those are his two best wins, but not when it comes to competitive nature, you know what I'm saying? Because when he fought them in 2008, yeah, that would be 16 years ago. You know how old B-Hop was 16 years ago? I'll wait. He's 59 right now, man. Do the math, man. He was 43 years old. Damn. I'm sorry. When he fought Joe Calzaghe. Now, granted, <laughs> granted, granted, B-Hop did infamously say that he won't lose to a white boy, right? And Joe Smith said, hold my beer. Whoop, whoop. Two possible opponents. Oh, oh big oh, right man. hand. He's out. Oh, out three. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Damn. And Joe, and Joe Kawasaki said, hey, hold on, let me get some of that too, you know, because he was wrong again. Well, you know, now I think about it, maybe B-Hop meant that he'll lose, he won't lose to any white boy except for the ones named Joe. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe just, maybe just, stay, just stay away from them Joes, B-Hop, just stay away from them Joes. Look at you scared now, you ho. Scared like a little white pussy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that's also too. So that's that's that was for B Hop, man. It's forty three year old B Hop. Then Roy Jones, right? Roy Jones was also in two thousand eight, you know. And Roy Jones is fifty five years old right now. So do the math. Sixteen years ago, he was thirty nine, pushing forty. Damn. And uh, the last time I checked, this is Roy Jones, not LeBron James. LeBron James is the only person on earth, him and Diana Taurasi, who got better. Arguably, when they were 39, it does, it's not applicable to Roy Jones, as great and phenomenal as he is. Big salute to Roy Jones. So he beat them when they were well over the edge, well over their peaks, well beyond their primes, man. So if you really want to think about it, are those really good wins? No, just by name only. His best wins was really Jeff Left Hook Lacey yeah. and Mikel the Great Dane Kessler. Those are good fighters, but they should not be the best name on your rec on your resume or your record when you're trying to be considered as the best super middleweight ever right um in addition to that you you could say that hey maybe maybe you want to count um saki obika he was on contender no no disrespect to those who are on those who have been on contender because that was a great show it, it produced you know uh uh k9 bundridge and produced sergio moore you know peter manfredo who we also fought but like alfonso gomez as well but like that's not that's not good enough to be called the best super middleweight like he didn't even fight uh, Andre Ward, what? right? He didn't fight Andre Ward. He didn't fight Carl Frotch. He didn't fight Edison Miranda. What? Hell, he didn't fight Arthur Abram, right? What? So there's just like, there's just so many gaps, man, you know? And, um, hell, he didn't even fight Lucian Butte or even Librado Andrade or, uh, or, or, or my guy, Robert Stiglitz. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that he wouldn't beat them. He probably would beat them. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But the fact is that he didn't even fight those contenders. So how can you be considered the best? Now let's go to old Cinnamon, man. So old Canelo Alvarez. Bro, as, not only is he, Undisputed as super middleweight, but he's the first ever, ever. Ever. 
ever undisputed at super middleweight. So that's that's his crown. Now the knock on the knock on Canelo, like I went on with with Joe Calzaghe, the the the, the plethora of folks he didn't fight, the multitude of, of of capable fighters that he didn't fight. The only knock on Canelo right now of who he didn't fight is both is very recent, right? And that's that's David El Monstro Benavides. That's the only knock on him. Yeah. Because Canelo fought from, even when he was smaller. Who did he fight? He fought. Arguably the goat in Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. He fought Hall of Famer Sugar uh, Sugar Shane Mosley. Yeah. He fought Hall of Famer Miguel Cotto. Yeah. If you want to say they were old, that's okay. Joe Calzaghe fought old folks too, and Roy Jones and B Hop. That was the whole point of me saying that because I knew you were going to try to get me there. You see me? You said hey, we good and we thorough around here, man. We thorough, you know. And then also, you know, um, um, Canelo Alvarez fought a trilogy with Triple G. He moved all the way up to light heavyweight and fought um, Sergey Kovalev. You know, he was he already lost. He was wasn't necessarily the crusher, but he was still a capable fighter. You know, and he still challenged himself, even though he lost against Bivol. He still challenged himself and moved up before Bivol and amongst the other fighters that he beat you know what I'm saying that are very capable you know even Billy Joe Saunders you know so uh, we could we could talk about it to talk about it all day but the facts remains that there's no way even if you are to say stylistically Joe Calzaghe could beat Canelo I'm fine but there's no way that you could rank going off of statistics and, 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 and accolades and accomplishments and who they fought when they fought them there's no way on paper that you could convince me or anybody else that's knowledgeable about boxing that Joe Calzaghe is a better super middleweight than Saul Canelo Alvarez. That's just that's just crazy. And also, if they did fight, I got Canelo winning in eight because Joe Calzaghe he he he, he a little chitty chin chinny. You know what I'm talking about. Roy Jones dropped him at 39 going on 40, and B Hop dropped him at 43 years old. You know what I'm talking about. That somebody don't like me talking about Joe Calzaghe back there. They revving up their motorcycle. <laughs> but I'll repeat it once again. Joe Calzaghe got dropped by a 43 year old B Hop. And a 39-year-old push of 40, Roy Jones Jr. Damn. I'm sorry. That's, there's no there's no shame in that, but there is a little shame when you talk about when you're comparing them to Canelo, who's never been dropped before. And the last time we seen him wobbled was against Miguel Cotto's brother, Jose Cotto, where he was like 19, 20, or 21, something like that. He a young bull, you know. So so shout out to Canelo, man. You gotta put some respect on his ne- on this man's name. Uh, uh Joe Calzaghe, yes, he's undefeated, yes, it looks good. But if you break down their their, their resumes of who they fought and who they didn't fight and when they fought him, he doesn't hold a candle to to, to Saul Canelo Canelo Alvarez. Now, with that being said, I think Canelo is definitely above uh, uh Joe Kazagi, obviously, a super builder weight division. But if you're asking me who I think is the best, I got to go with Son of God, Andre Ward. <laughs> got he! <laughs> got he! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. Let me know who y'all think is the best in the comments. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys. Hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.